Hey guys, Luis Camacho here again. And I wanted to make this quick video about a topic that I think a lot of high performers, entrepreneurs struggle with. Um, and it's because we like to think that people that nap are lazy. Um, or at least that was my view of things. And it's totally wrong for the most part. Um, you know, I think there are people that nap that are lazy. <laughs> um, not trying to put anybody down, but I realized that, you know, I wasn't getting enough sleep uh, is essentially the moral of the story here. And I wake up pretty early, earlier than most people wake up. So I wake up at around 4.15 in the morning to get to the gym around five, sometimes earlier. And I get about five to six hours of sleep a night. Six is on the longer side. Uh, and not typically what happens. If I get six hours of sleep, I'm actually pretty good. But on the nights that I get five, uh, you know, five and 30 minutes, I feel like I start to get tired towards the end of the day. And I don't like it. I don't like feeling tired. I don't like feeling like I have low energy to do the things that I want to do. I don't want to have low energy to spend with my fiance. I don't want low energy to spend with the people that I love or low energy to work. So I've always battled with naps. Um, mainly because I've always been a person that sleeps for, I guess, shorter periods of time, right? You have people that sleep for eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours, and that could be normal for them. And maybe that's what they need. So that's okay. But I've always been okay with sleeping a little bit less and I'm able to function properly and all those things. But lately, um, maybe it's age. I don't know. Um, I felt like I started to get a little tired faster and I didn't like it. So my old self wouldn't allow me to take a nap. Um, and the reason for this was because I thought, you know, naps were for lazy people, uh, high performers don't take naps, uh, you know, whatever the case may be. And I realized that I was completely wrong. So I have a couple of friends that take naps religiously. And in the back of my head, I'm like, oh, I wish I could do that. Um, you know, I wish I had the time to take a nap. And in reality, there there is time. Um, and I ended up carving out, you know, 30, 40 minutes a day to start taking naps. And typically I also started to notice that after, you know, lunch, uh, and I it termed in fast. So this is another thing that is kind of, you know, might be um, one of the reasons why I started napping as well. Um, so when you have lunch, there's an insulin spike, right? Whenever you ingest any sort of carbs, um, there's an insulin spike in your body, which actually makes you a little tired. And a lot of you know this feeling from when you have a heavier meal or you have a high carb meal, you just feel kind of uh, low energy after the fact. And so that was happening. And after lunch, I felt like I was starting to feel really tired and I would not have the proper amount of energy to work. And it started to affect different things. So I didn't like it. And I was talking to my high performance coach and you know, I said, I think I should nap. Um, and I hated it. I totally hated it because I just know that it's not something that I had ever really thought of. Um, and so I started kind of exploring and I started taking 30 minute naps, 20, 30 minute naps um, daily. Um, well, I, I, I didn't start doing it daily till after I realized, okay, this is super beneficial to me. Um, and so I started doing it and sometimes I do it depending on my schedule. Um, I have calls that I have to go to every day. So depending on my schedule, it'll either be right after lunch at one after I start right when I start fasting or it would be around 3 p.m. And it would just give me a ton of energy. 20 minute nap, 30 minute nap. You go, you know, you fall asleep pretty quickly if you're tired, obviously. Um, if you're not tired, perhaps you shouldn't be taking a nap. Um, even though it is beneficial, I think. So I started taking these naps and immediately you could see the benefits, right? I would have higher energy levels. I would be in a better mood. I wouldn't be snappy. Um, I just have the energy to go through the entire day. And that obviously brings a lot of really good things with it. Um, you're in a better mood that a hundred percent is going to become something that is beneficial to you. I think everybody could be in a better mood all the time. Um, so I started to see, you know, that it was beneficial to me. So I started doing it more religiously. Um, and I'm trying to get, 
uh, anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes every single day um, after lunch, right? So either right after lunch or at 3 p.m., I take that short nap and just feel completely rejuvenated after it. Um, I also track my sleep with the Oura Ring. So um, I see the benefits in there as well with all the different analytics that I can take a look at. My resting heart rate is lower. My HRV balance is better. Um, a lot of benefits that came after taking those naps. So if you, for whatever reason, have the same thought as me, you know, naps are for lazy people. Uh, you shouldn't be napping if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to build companies. I think you are probably completely wrong, uh, like I was, of course. And you should give it a shot because you're going to feel a lot better after you do it. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you guys liked it, go ahead and like it, subscribe, comment, ask me any questions you have. I'm happy to answer them. And uh, feel free to subscribe. If you feel like this video would be you know, helpful to anybody, go ahead and share it with that individual. And try to change their mind as far as what naps really are and how beneficial they could be. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch this and hopefully you find some time to take some naps. Thank you for watching.